Now since the string melody doesn't have a filter or any tone controls, these sliders are the only real way you have of manipulating the actual tone using different combinations for different effects. Now just above the keys on a metal panel we have another four controls, two for each side of the keyboard and they are labelled attack and sustain and these are used for the note articulation for when you're playing. Now on the bottom half here I've got no attack and no sustain so when I play a few notes You'll notice it has a very organ-like quality. As soon as you press a key, the note is at its maximum volume and when you let go, it drops off immediately. There's no decay or sustain. Now by using the attack control, I can make the notes gently fade in. So by increasing it, you can see the notes are slowly fading in. Now the thing about the string melody is that the maximum attack time is actually quite short compared to a lot of conventional synthesizers. So um, it's not good for really, really slow, subtle sweeps. Now the sustain slider has the same effect except it works on the end of a note. So when I let go of a key, it will gradually fade away. So this is it with no sustain. And I'll gradually increase it. And this is the maximum sustain, which to be honest is a healthy amount. By using them in conjunction you can achieve effects like this. Now as you'll notice the sound itself is quite plain, I'm only using the cello in the low register and the cello in the upper register, as I introduce the other uh, registers it should sound a little more full. Now even though that does help, the sound is still rather static, it lacks motion, it lacks character, uh, and it's just not very interesting to listen to. Now this is where the integrated ensemble chorus really does its magic, so I'm going to set it to the organ setting here, and hopefully you'll hear the difference. <laughs> Unfortunately, this also introduces even more noise to the signal, so you'll have to be aware of that when recording. Now, I only need to explain the five preset buttons that are presented to you. Um, the first one is labelled O. I'm not sure if this is for original or one, but I don't think it's for orchestra because there's already one called orchestra, so it could be anything, but to me it's kind of the classic string machine sound. There is some chorus ensemble and there's a wee bit of vibrato as well, I'm sure, and this is how it sounds. <laughs> Now moving along to the next preset, this one is referred to as ACC. Now according to both Peter Forst's book and the review that I've got, this stands for accordion, but it could also stand for accompaniment. Regardless, this setting is definitely what you'd call the dry setting, the one that you've heard a lot before with no vibrato and no chorus effect. Now, I think the main reason they've provided this is not so much just for a, a good organ emulation, it's also so the unit could be fed into different effects. Up next is the aptly titled solo preset, which makes heavy use of vibrato whilst also introducing a little of the chorus effect. The fourth preset is titled Orc, as an orchestra, 
and is unique in the sense that none of the register controls have any effect in this setting. The only controls that do, in fact, are the envelope controls, that is, the attack and the sustain for both splits of the keyboard, and both the bass and percussion sliders that I've mentioned earlier. I'm told this setting has the effect of all the tone sliders being at full. The final preset is labelled Organ, and it happens to be my favourite. The reason for this is simple. The ensemble effect is very subtle in this one. It's not overblown, it's not high rate, it's just a gentle, slow modulation. Check it out. Now that that's all the presets covered, I feel it's time to round out this video with some examples of the Logan being fed through external effects. I'll be using a Lexicon MPX 500 multi effects unit, a Digitech Bad Monkey Overdrive guitar pedal, and a Behringer Chorus Space C CC300 chorus pedal. Before you hear each example, there'll be an explanation of how the sound was set up. So sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> 